Hello, my lovely Aquarians. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'll be doing a reading today. These are the November monthlies, but time is fluid, so whenever you click on it, if it's for you, it will be for you. Um, I highly recommend going through, and if any video, regardless of the date, resonates with you, go for it because time is fluid. This is a general reading. It will not apply to every single one of you. I wish I could do that, but I can't. You guys all know that, um, unless you're new to tarot and everything, and that's why I still say it. <laughs> if you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy, please email me. My email's in the box below. I will gladly give you all the information you need for personal readings. It's on the community tab, my website, and please check me out on Patreon. I do channel messages over there. And I've got other ideas that I've got to get going. I've had technical difficulties. I posted that on my Facebook account and um, on the community tab because I tried to do a reading so that, like, I just posted all signs reading. So for anyone who's been waiting for their sign to pop up, it's just a little buffer until I get things situated because um, I've been battling a cold and hopefully I'm at the tail end of this. I don't know. I feel like crap. <laughs> I'm so sick of being sick. Um, and then, I, and then of course, my computer was shutting down on me. I'm like, great, this is wonderful. Um, I'll be borrowing somebody else's computer hopefully tomorrow so I don't have to deal with this crappy one anymore because it's touch and go. So I'm doing what I can while it's being good and working. <laughs> so this is a general... Um, I'm not... I'm not focused on love, so whatever comes out, comes out, but usually it is love-related. I feel like a lot of people, you know, want to know about their love life and who's coming in, who's coming back, um, what's going to work out, what's not, you know. Um, anyway, so we'll see what we get. The I was trying to tap into your energy, and for me, music is... I don't know, it's almost crucial <laughs> part of readings. Like, I get a lot of information from song lyrics and um, melodies and things like that. So I put um, songs on shuffle, and I heard Nickelback. Um, what is it called? Nickelback Far Away. And to me, I feel like it's wishful thinking, like being, remaining hopeful, um, that either someone will return or that a situation will work out, whether you're partnered with somebody now and it's rocky and you're hoping things turn around, or this is a past person that you want to return to your life, or it's somebody new that you're trying to connect to and there's, it just hasn't panned out up till now, I guess, or I don't know. There's like an ebb and flow that I feel like really good and not so good. Really good, not so good. So I don't know if that's just um, somebody's emotions that I'm picking up on. But I feel like I have good days and I have bad days. I have days where I'm really positive and thinking like this is going to work. Things are really great. My life is going amazing. And then I have days where I'm like I don't want to get out of bed nothing's going right, nobody will ever love me, this person won't come back, um, what's wrong with me, you know, it's like really happy and then woe is me. Um, and that's pretty normal, a lot of people go through that, and with the planetary alignments and everything changing, I feel like that happens to everyone throughout the course of the year, depending on what zodiac sign you are, where you, f you know, where it fall, where the signs fall, in the plan bleh, in the planetary alignments where they fall in your chart and stuff like that <coughs> excuse me so it affects us all at different times but it does affect us all eventually <laughs> you know what i mean so anyways for my lovely aquarians let's see what the main energy is so centrally we have the sun which is the happiest card in the deck so that's really great um, and I'm using the good tarot, so these are really happy cards, um, generally speaking. But I just pick up on the energy. So with the sun card here, 
in the middle of your spread. I feel like that's pretty positive and that goes with the ebb and flow that I was talking about, like remaining positive, wishful thinking, having faith in a situation, just having hope and faith that things will um, turn around, get better, stay stay good, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, keep the status quo if that's the case. And then it's number 19, which breaks down to a 10, endings, new beginnings. I feel like for someone out there, something really significant happened in the summertime. Because I keep looking at the sunflowers and summer popped in my head. And I feel like whoever this is for, I don't know where you live. You could be in the U.S., you could be in another country. Australia just popped in my head, but that, I mean, that's obviously not for everybody, but it could be for somebody. Anyways, I feel like, um, gardening, like I'm around a garden, whether it's a flower garden, um, you could work like at a greenhouse or at a farm. There's something to do with agriculture. So I don't know if that's somebody's profession or if the person they're interested in, if this is love related, that's their profession. Or if you just, that's a hobby of yours. You love to garden. Hell, you could have just been walking in like a botanical garden and this is where you came across this person or, you know, um, that's a place that comforts you. I just, I feel a garden around. Um, but ultimately, like I said, it's happiness, it's clarity. And something significant happened in the summertime for somebody over the summer was possibly where you met somebody or started a new job if we're talking about career and if it is that then it's a job that you actually enjoy and it could have to do with flowers um you could be a florist even i don't know there's something about flowers going on here flowers sun <laughs> Sunny and share. Maybe you just like listening to them. <laughs> Anyways, my dating myself. So, let's see. Why is the sun here? Why are we so happy? Which is amazing if that's the case. And for some of you, if you're not in this elated state, like where you're not really happy, um, this could just be what you want. You're looking for fulfillment. You want clarity on a situation. You want to be happy. You're striving for your happiness, whether it's in career or love or just in general. Um, you're trying to figure out your path in life. Three of Cups is a celebration. It's in the upright. It's coming together. It's friends. I feel like something happened in the summertime. You could have even gone out with friends to a party, to a gathering, um, to some celebration, baby shower, wedding, something like that. Um, for some of you, you could have fallen in love with a friend, even. But overall, this is just wanting, wanting to be happy and content with your circle of friends, with your family, with just everybody. So I feel like there are people, well, there are some Aquarians out there who are deciding who's good for them and who's not. So it's like, okay, are you there for me? Do you make me happy? Am I happy when I'm around you? Um, because if not, you need to go. Like whether it's love or friends or family, it doesn't matter who it is. It's like getting rid of toxic people is what I feel. So I feel like you're clearing, clearing the way for more positive um, connections to come towards you, no matter what we're talking about here. Um, this could also be a business collaboration of sorts, but ultimately, if that's the case, I feel like if this is a job that makes you happy and you collaborated with one person or multiple people, it was through friends. So your friend um, probably said, hey, you know, Aquarius would be really great for this position. You know, your friend got you a job kind of thing if it's business related, I feel like friends were involved in that. It could also be a family business, but I feel friends, 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 just getting rid of negative people and wanting to celebrate and be around happy go lucky people <laughs> pretty much. Cause they say you are who, you, 
they are who you hang around or you are who your friends are or something like that so um or you you are the company you keep I don't know there must be a million ways to say that but basically you want your friends to reflect who you are as a person so you don't want anybody negative around so the past energy we have here is the nine of water which is like the nine of cups this is wish fulfillment you know getting what you want being content with the way that things are um i just heard daydreaming so for some of you i feel like you're trying to make your dreams come true like um not really checking off a to-do list but more like getting your affairs in order like to achieve your goals so I need to get this done so I can do this kind of thing and um, what do I want to say it's like I have that dreamy feel where I want something so bad and it's like right there but it's just out of my grasp for some and then for others of you I feel like you you probably had the perfect job or the perfect relationship or wonderful friends or you or so you thought it's almost like a facade like that not seeing things clearly because your focus was elsewhere like you could have been so focused on either a relationship a certain person or a job or just things that make you happy anything and you weren't seeing what was actually going on around you what people were doing behind your back kind of thing it's that dreamy state it's almost like being left in the dark because naive there we go it's that naive way of thinking because you you were in a good place and you thought you were surrounded by good people that you didn't think you had to worry about anything um but i feel like somebody showed their true colors and I don't know if we'll find out who it is or what happened, but I feel like this is this was short lived and that's why we're trying to find new friends and be, you know, in a better place now. Let's see, why is Nine of Water here? King of Swords. This could be um like a lawyer or a judge, a police officer, something like that. So some of you could have dated somebody um, in uniform, could be even military. This is very militant to me. It's very structured. Um, he's very intelligent and he's kind of cold and cutting with his words. Not always, but he's not, he's tactful, but not emotional. So I feel like somebody might have poo-pooed your dreams and this is that naive energy I was talking about like you were off in la la land like focused on all these wonderful things life is beautiful and it is but this is your this was your mentality in the past and somebody brought you back to reality in in a pretty blunt way so you could have thought that a relationship was going really well a job was going really well because he can represent a boss too or an air sign I see him as Gemini usually but Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could even be you. You could have done this to somebody. Um, they might have thought the relationship was wonderful or the job was wonderful and you're their boss and you were like, nope, it's not working. <laughs> you know, you have too much wishful thinking and not enough action going on here or somebody said that to you. I feel more relationship with this though. Um, for some of you, it could have been a messy divorce that you didn't even see coming. Ugh. I hope that's not the case because I don't like that. That doesn't sound good. So in your thoughts about this situation is the two of water. Yeah, this is revolving around a relationship. It's a soulmate union. Um, I really feel like Aquarius, I mean, this could have been you or it could have been the other person because I'm dealing with energy, so put it where it fits, vice versa, whatever. I feel like you were in a very happy place. You were in a happy relationship in the past. Um, you potentially thought or still think that this person is your soulmate and they shattered your dreams in some way, shape, or form in the past. Some of you could be wanting this person back because you do believe that you're supposed to be together. Um, and this relationship is on your mind. Um, for others of you, 
it's just trying to get over past pain to it's like trying to clear the energy trying to clear the space of this past bullshit so that you can move forward and actually recognize who's supposed to be with you um I feel like a lot of you are trying to put yourselves in a better mental state and just taking care of things that you neglected to take care of in the past so that you don't repeat history is kind of what I'm feeling here. But I get a lonely vibe with the two of water in your thoughts. Um, for some of you, it's, it's really missing and yearning for somebody. And for others of you, it's that hopeful, wishful thinking. And you might um, you might be falling for a friend or your friends could be introducing you or have introduced you to somebody new and you're thinking it could work out or wondering if it's going to work out, I should say. Why is it two of water here? Oh, here I am dropping everything. We have the two of wands. Yeah, it's wondering if it's going to work out, trying to make a decision um, it's like two people making a deal in this card, but this guy is like, okay, I'm going to go with you, but he's still holding on to this one. Like he has other opportunities. So I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like in the thought in in the thoughts, in your thoughts, whoever this is for. There's a decision that's been put, placed in front of you. And if it's relationship related, it's moving, it's a decision to move forward with somebody new, but the, the past is still there. So I feel like whoever this is for, there's a past connection that is still energetically tied to you, whether you think about this person or, you know, you're kind of waiting for them. Um, and you're kind of putting things on hold and you have someone sitting there potentially really great for you right now, but, and you want to go for it and maybe you might, but you still have, you're still hanging on to something is what I see with that. If it's relationship related and if you're not emotionally hanging on to the past or a person from the past or situation or whatever, um, you're mentally thinking about it. So you're, you might not be crying over the person and pining for them or anything. Um, some of you could be, but mentally it's like, um, memories, nostalgia. It's almost like, how do I get past these memories to make new ones with somebody else? It's, it's just logically processing things so that you can make room for new, I guess. Um, if this is in business, you're hesitant. It could be, Something that sounds too good to be true. Hell, it could be that way for a relationship as well. Like, oh, this, you sound too good to be true. I I was off in La La Land before and I got cut down. I'm not doing that again, you know? Um, so I feel some hesitation here. You're really trying to use your head over, you're trying to, yeah, use your head over your heart. So you don't want to be stupid, basically. Like, you don't want to fall for somebody's games or head games or whatever. Um, and then why it's all happening is the four of water so it's like the four of cups could be a missed opportunity some of you could be allowing yourself to miss an opportunity with somebody new or with this job because you feel it's too good to be true um but i feel boredom with this i feel like she's holding the big bubble and there's a bunch of little ones or there's three little ones i should say so it's almost like i feel like you're focused too much on one thing and you're ignoring everything that's around you. So you could have many opportunities, whether it is in business or in love or even hell, just friendships. Um, and I feel like you're letting them pass you by because you're so like zoned in on one person, one job, one thing, whatever it is. Like you've got your blinders on. You're like a horse in a horse race and you're like the finish lines right there. Fuck everyone beside me. I'm going straight for it. That's what I feel. So I feel like that's why there's hesitation and, um, confusion around making a decision. Why is it? 
Why is the four of water here, please? We have the, what is it? The six of wands reverse. <sighs> that's not being successful. That's not being socially recognized. Like I said, it's like you're not getting any opportunity because you're so fixated on one thing, whether it's from the past or just, it could be a person, pla person, place, or thing, the nouns, you know, anything. You're so fixated on something that you're losing out on so many other opportunities or a really great opportunity. Like you're not seeing someone for the potential, the potential future that you could have with this person or um, the guidance or insight that this individual, even if it's just a friend, could give you. And if it's a job, it's one that's just an opportunity that's going to pass you by because you're staying stuck and stagnant at whatever job you're at. Even if you're not happy and you're bored, I felt boredom, you're missing out on a different opportunity. There's something else around you, whether your friends told you about it, I just, I feel like it would be a really great opportunity and it could be a scary one, something out of the norm, something you're not used to that's going to pull you out of your comfort zone. And I feel like that's why it's passing you by. Um, some of you might not even know what I'm talking about when it comes to this opportunity because you're so fixated on what you're currently doing that you didn't even know it was there. And then your future energy is the king of air and we have this twice now so this very well could represent you and you could be um kind of shutting people down and not being very i don't want to say you're being mean but if this is you you're being cold you're not offering emotion to people you're not um it's almost like i just heard recluse in my head so you could be shutting down offers for relationships or friendships because you just, if you don't interact with people and you don't let them in, then you never get hurt kind of thing. Um, no matter what we're talking about, you're trying to be logical and I feel like you're letting things pass you by. Um, but if that's not you, there's somebody who's probably going to come in preferably an older gentleman could just be masculine energy because we're dealing with energy here um, who's going to set you straight this could also be a fatherly figure like um, somebody around you who's more mature and when I say mature I mean older than you male female whatever somebody could be coming in and trying to put things into perspective for you like um, maybe they're seeing things that you're not and this is like advice this person is not um, letting their emotions take control of them they're seeing things from a logical standpoint and they're seeing it's almost like that they've been watching you and now they're ready to communicate with you like this is what I've what I've observed and I would like to help you here's my advice kind of thing why is the king of air here also just standing in your power standing your ground like not budging not willing to take a risk this is calculated risk this is not like the fool this is I'm gonna sit here and think about this and now I'm going to announce my plan to the world kind of thing because I've thought about it ten ways till Sunday we have the nine of wands clarifying that and this is not giving up but it's also being guarded <clears throat> excuse me the dragon's really tired he's being held down by all these wands like all these spikes and ropes are are pinning him down so it's like the weight of the world this is it's stress and it's this is a difficult situation so this information might be difficult to hear you might not want you might not want to listen to what this person has to say to you um, because it's, like I said, it's not emotional. It can be very cold. So if they're trying to pull you out of a rut, they're going to basically say, get off your ass, look around you. You know what I mean? Like they're going to be very forthcoming. <laughs> um, 
and it might sting a little bit, whatever this person says. You could be delivering this message, but I really feel like somebody's saying this to you, like, look at this opportunity that passed you by. This person really likes you, and you let them go um, because you're hung up on this, that, or the other. I just feel like there needs to be a clearing, and this person is trying to help you break the ties that bind you because um, you could be repeating cycles, um, patterns of, it's almost like doing the same thing in a different, different place with different people, but it's that routine, that robotic motion, like I do this every single day on repeat, you know what I mean? So this is somebody pointing it out and you might not even realize that you were doing it kind of thing. If that's not you, it could be the other person involved or someone in your environment. So then the external factors of all of this is the king of earth. This is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's stability. Um, he's a husband figure. He can also be a father figure too. And I did feel that fatherly energy. So for some of you, not all of you, I, I just saw an image of a... It's not a teenager, but a young adult who is still living at home. You know, parents are supporting this person. And it's almost like um, this, this kind of blunt conversation, this, this information that's coming in that's hard to hear is from a parent, a parental figure saying, you know, okay, it's time for you to do this for yourself, you know, because... Me and your father, we want to travel, do this, that, and the other. We're downsizing, whatever they're going to do. I almost feel like you're relying on somebody for your stability, whether it's your parents. That's just the image I saw, so it doesn't matter how old you are. You could be relying on an ex-person, a current partner, friends, family, um, an inheritance, whatever. You're relying on someone or something um, that's kept you in this same rut or routine for your stability and I feel like somebody's saying okay well we need to set you free birdie <laughs> you know what I mean um, for some of you you could have a family member who is trying to convince you to take over the business or to work for them. And you might have reservations about it because um, maybe you and this family member don't see eye to eye. So if it's a business thing, that could have something to do with it. But I just, I feel like somebody in the situation is relying on somebody else for their stability. And it might not even be 100%, but... It's almost like that safety net that's always there. And in order for you to move forward, you need to, you know, cut the rope and fly free kind of thing. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's somebody wants you to be stable and independent, be on your own, not rely on a man or a woman or anyone else to support you. Um, this very well could be a parent who is saying, or, or a family member who's saying, I really want you to succeed on your own. You do not need anyone. You are independent and amazing all on your own. It's okay to want somebody and it's okay to be in a relationship, but this is like somebody saying, you don't need a safety net. You're good. You, you can do this. You got this. So it's almost like that tough love is what I'm feeling. So you're either telling somebody this or they're telling that to you. Um, I feel like it's advice. And if this isn't just business related and you're not living with your parents or, or relying on somebody financially, this is um, your friends or family. This is somebody telling you that you don't need to be in a relationship to be happy that you can be happy on your own, that it's nice to have somebody, but you don't need anybody. You can want them, but you don't need them. And then the potential outcome, if things keep going on this way, 
is the five of earth. It's like the five of pentacles. It's being left out in the cold. It's feeling a sense of lack, um, feeling like you don't have enough to survive. So I feel like this is encouragement, advice. Somebody saying, yes, you do. You're good. You've got this. You're Aquarius. You know, um, put your mind to it. You do not need so-and-so to support you. You do not need to stay at this fucked up job. You, you know, do what you love, do what makes you happy. Um, I feel like you have very helpful people around you, but you're afraid of this happening. So I feel like you need to stand in your power and take charge of your life for whoever this is so that you never feel like you have nothing or you know what I mean? I feel like you're a lot better off than than you think you are for whoever this is for. And I just saw the magician reversed. There was too many there, so I didn't take them. And that's like feeling like you can't manifest your dreams, that you can't make something work. But you can. It's don't have the I can't mentality. Have the I can. Like, I know I can do this. I got this. Inspire yourself. Because if you can do that, you can inspire the world. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like you have very helpful friends and family around you, and there is an opportunity for love here. Just don't fall into a trap. Um, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So if somebody's offering you this, that, and the other, like they want to give you money, give you gifts, have you move in really quickly. If things are moving too fast, that's called love bombing. And usually narcissists do that. So if that happens, um, really think about it. Make sure that, that that's not what's happening. Um, be secure with yourself and be independent so that you're not left on your own in a bad place. You know what I mean? Um, because the five of earth is clarified by the emperor. This is that take charge. He's an older gentleman usually. He's, um, a, he's a boss figure. He takes control of a situation. Like I said, that could be that narcissistic energy. Don't let this come into your life. I feel like if you don't see your worth and you don't set out on your own and know that you can do this, that, or the other by yourself, you're going to always fall into traps like this. Um, I really don't see you falling for this crap, but... There's definitely someone out there that has in the past and that potentially will repeat history because of that whole routine thing I was talking about. Um, I just feel like somebody needs to have more faith in themselves because you, I just, I see some really great opportunities. Don't let them pass you by um, because you feel like you're not good enough or you won't be successful in this, that, or the other, no matter what we're talking about. Because there's love and relationships within this reading. There's also business and family and friends. So no matter what your situation is, I feel like you can come out on top if you really listen to your intuition for one and take the advice of this, this older, I feel like it's an older gentleman. It could be a father, grandfather, something like that. There's somebody who only wants the best for you and they might come off pretty harsh the way that they speak to you, but they're doing it out of a, out of a positive place, out of a place of love. So don't get too bogged down by <coughs> excuse me by what this person says or how they say it just pay attention to the details if that makes sense um and then your guardian angels you got angel of faith and angel of belief so have faith in yourself have faith in the situation and believe that things will work out you have angels on your side, guiding you, helping you through whatever the situation is to you. And if this is you being in a bad relationship, I feel like there are helpful people around you to help pull you out and you're always guided and protected. Just have faith in yourself and know your self-worth and know that you deserve better than what you're allowing yourself to have. I really hope that that makes sense for somebody out there. Um, yeah, don't fall for love bombing bullshit. Don't let history repeat itself. Um, get rid of toxic people, whether they're friends, family, lovers, whatever. 
and focus on yourself, your independence, and um, I feel like wonderful things are coming in. I mean, I know you really want a solid relationship, but once you get your own si si ugh, yourself situated, whether it's business, personal life, whatever, your emotions, getting yourself aligned, this will come in for you. If you have to, if you're sitting at a crossroads because you don't know which way to go over somebody, they're probably not for you. Keep that in mind too. Just my advice. That's all that tarot ever is. If we don't like what we hear, what we see, we have free will. We have the power to change it. So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. And if I don't post before Thanksgiving, I hope you guys have a very happy Turkey day. Um, because I cook Thanksgiving here. So I cook for three friggin' days. I just love food. So whatever. <laughs> um, maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll share some of that with you guys and like do a little video or something just so you can have a peek inside of, uh, my, my crazy chaotic life. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, I wish you guys the best. I love you. Bye.